Coming to you from an undisclosed location somewhere deep in the heart of the Santa Monica Mountains, I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. Welcome to another episode of Questions with L.A. A powerful solar flare recently caused blackouts across the U.S. What's more is many fear that a future solar flare may be so strong that it causes a long-term power outage. Folks, I've been bagging on that for years. Anyway, this would cause us to go without the internet, radio, electricity, maybe even for months. Then, of course, what about an EMP? That's why I've been using today's sponsor, The Lightbug, and I absolutely love it. Thanks to Lightbug, I have unlimited power and ultra-bright lighting from virtually anywhere, even during power outages. That's because it uses solar energy for its ultra-bright floodlight and power bank, which performs excellently in low-light situations. Folks, I've got it. The, the sponsors gave me one. It's unbelievable. You're going to love this light. Seriously. I get them free, but you need to go to www.lightbug.com or click the link in the description below to get 20% off the Lightbug plus receive several bonuses with every order completely for free. Once again, that's www.lightbug.com. This thing is just, you know, every now and then you get something that's better than sliced bread. This is it. If you've got a question for me, shoot me an email. Questions at lamarzulli.net. Questions at lamarzulli.net. I will get to them. I promise. Don't forget to take our survey. We're trying to figure out what people want to see and why. Um, check that out by going to lamarzulli.net. Let's get right in because time goes very quickly. This is from John. Uh, hello, LA. I really love and appreciate your content and your insight from a Christian perspective. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. About the supernatural. Once again, we read about some dead cow with straight clean cuts around the mouth, anus, and genital areas. Just wondering if you had seen this article um, and what your thoughts were. Yeah, this is old because you're in April 2023 and we're, you know, that's a year ago. So I apologize, but I'm going right down the queue. That's all I can do. Um, our cattle mutilation film uh, talks about all of this. We actually uh, discuss it. Um, we use the headlines, the exact headlines that you're quoting here uh, in those in that uh, film. It's the darkest film I've ever created, not for the faint of heart, but we link it back to the abduction phenomena and the breeding program. Remember, folks, it's a seed war, and we know that the seed of a dragon will be at enmity, at war with the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman, the proto-evangelium, the one Messiah coming from the woman, We'll crush the dragon's head. That happens 2,000 years ago on Calvary. But look where we are. My gosh, if these aren't the end times, I don't know what is. We've got AI. We've got the war in the Middle East. Not going away. Not going away. It's accelerating. So um, cattle mutilations are ongoing. They've been ongoing. In our opinion, and we talk about this at the very end of the film, um, the entities who are doing this, they have a very nefarious agenda. They are creating artificial wombs. They are creating artificial wombs for the hybrid entity to go into because the woman is finds herself pregnant. She knows she's pregnant. She gets an OBGYN, sees the heartbeat, the whole nine yards. In the third month of pregnancy, she's reabducted. The child was taken from her and placed. It's got to go somewhere. This is what the material is used for. Bovine blood, the blood from cattle, can be used in human transfusions. Not many people know that. That is a medical fact. I believe, and it's conjecture, but it's based on lots and lots of research. I believe these entities, which are fallen angels, are using this material to create artificial wounds. Uh, let's continue. This is from Anthony. Hi there, Mr. Marzulli. I'm a frequent watcher of a lot of your videos, which I find very interesting and really are very helpful in finding out a lot of what's really going on from Genesis to where we are today. I have a question, if you don't mind me asking. The last couple of years, I have been having this issue when falling asleep or halfway through sleep, my entire body stiffens. I feel I'm being pulled out of my body in order to prevent this. I have to try and fight it or at least scream that it tends to go away. Only recently now I am choking where I can't get uh, to breathe. I have to jump up out of the bed and panic. Wow. Hmm. Um, I try to control it to the point until it goes away. So it, it's, it's ramping up. I'm not sure if it's at all a medical condition or something else. Um, a couple things here, Anthony. Um, you should... Pray over your bedroom, anoint it with oil. Not that the oil has any power, but the oil is significant of the Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord to come in. Ask the Lord to release angels to clean up the area, to the apartment or room or wherever you are, the house, the land, everything. Take it back 
uh, under the authority of Jesus. Claim the blood of Jesus. Play praise music throughout the day. I'm assuming you're not in your bedroom all day. So, you know, have a, have a radio station, play praise music as, as often as you can. That drives them nuts. I would say that you're having a bout with sleep paralysis. You should go to our website, lamarzuli.net, Vicki Joy's incredible book, which we are very proud to publish, on sleep paralysis. And guess what? The, the title of that book is The Only Come Out at Night. It's a well-researched book, and Vicki hits a home run. Uh, this is from Amy. Uh, I meant to clarify that in the middle of the ancient star and other types of star forts are modern-day forts. That's what Dutch Sense noticed here in the U.S. Um, okay, I, I get this. Uh, the whole thing with Dutch Sense and, and the Star Force, um, yeah, I mean, they are uh, absolutely real, and they are there. Um, there was, a, there, look, every, when I do Amitrella of Nephilim, what do I say? There's a secret history that's been deliberately obfuscated from the peoples of the world. That's why I, your intrepid host, am on the trail of the Nephilim. Star Force is just part of it. The mounds, um, the, the standing stones, the dolmens, I mean... <laughs> It is unbelievable, and it's global, and it's absolutely worldwide. Some people don't want to know this. They're afraid of knowing it. They get uh, threatened by things like this. They'd rather just sit in, in the church and they're in their warm pew and not have to worry about all this. But there is a seed war, Genesis 3.15. It's been going on for millennia. There are traces of the Nephilim on a global level, right here in the United States, right here on Catalina Island. I'm not in Catalina, but I see it when I go down my canyon every single day if I go down the canyon. Catalina Island, I discovered a nine-foot giant there years ago and published it in my book, On the Trail of the Nephilim. That was never supposed to be found. It was not supposed to be discovered, but I discovered and I had access to the photographs. And that was, that was viewed by three people who looked at the picture deconstructed the picture and estimated that that giant was just over nine feet. So there you go. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward when the sons of God, the Bnei Elohim, the fallen angels, and they have a very nefarious agenda, came to earth and corrupted the seed. Genesis 3.15. Can't get away from it. It's everywhere. Is it going on now? Absolutely. Absolutely. The seed war is manifesting in ways that I've never seen. It's happening, folks. Time to wake up. By the way, I will be in Guthrie, Oklahoma, towards the end of the month with Pete Garcia, Mondo Gonzalez, and Lee Brader. We'll all be talking about different different subjects. Go to the website, lamarzulli.net, lamarzulli.net. Check the links. Go check it out. I will be there. I'll be talking about uh, Nephilim 101, Nephilim 101, to kind of ease everybody into the whole dynamic of what's going on with Genesis 315. I will probably do the rungs of disclosure ladder, but we'll see what happens. We'll see where the Lord directs my steps. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, keep it right here. We do five shows a week. On the Trail of the Nephilim, UFO Update, Questions with LA. So, you know, sometimes two questions with LA. Pretty cool. And um, UFO Update. So there's a lot going on, and we try to keep you abreast of what is happening in the world of the supernatural from a biblical perspective. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you soon.